10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2... Welcome to our 155th weekly news broadcast. I'm Malik. And I'm Angel. This is Magnolia. Let's start off with our top story. It's a good one. Hello everyone, I'm Matthew and I'm here with some visiting ambassador members and staff from Friendship Clubhouse in Ashabula. So welcome everyone. Thank you. Hey. All right. Thank you for having us. <laughs> so I guess well, please introduce yourselves and tell us how long each of you has been involved with Friendship Clubhouse. Um, my name is Brittany. I am a staff member at the Clubhouse and I have been, I'd say, since probably December at the Clubhouse. My name is Troy Blackwell. I've been a part of the Friendship Clubhouse and I'm a member of there. I've been a member there uh, for, for a few months, for a few, for a few months now. Jennifer Clark, I've been there for almost a year. Mm -hmm. uh, it'll be a year in December. I'm one of the charter members. And uh, I'm Jenny Terry, uh, and I'm a staff member. Um, when we started opening in October and then our grand opening last December. Mm, wonderful, so. It sounds like all of you had quite some time there. And so I must ask, you've been with us here at Magnolia for a couple of days now. What was the highlight of your experience here with us? I think seeing the energy um, from everybody here, members and staff, and um, loved working the first day we were here, worked up in communications, um, got a lot of ideas to bring back um, so that we can do our own communications and spread the word. Glad to hear that we've been so inspiring to you. Anyone else? I enjoyed um, learning about the computer, uh, learning about um, Um, membership, um, basically the highlight was those things, so. Well, thank you for your opinion. It is good to know that you've been motivated by such. Anyone else? Well, my experience uh, basically is uh, the, part of the positive energy that uh, the most of the members has. Um, uh, when they in introduced themselves to me, this is my first time actually being here, by mm -hmm. the way. Um, mm -hmm. So basically, I am very uh, pleased about the how the kitchen is the way it's set up, and you know, I our our kitchen is no, nothing compared oh to my. your guys's. <laughs> no worries, but, that's uh, for sure. You guys just started recently, so yeah, no pressure oh, yeah. there. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh no. I mean, as they say, it takes a few, you can't bake a cake without breaking a few eggs, right guys? <laughs> right. <laughs> and Brittany, do you have anything to share as well? Yeah, I think that the highlight for me was seeing how well staff and members work together. And there's like hard to tell who's staff and who's members at some points because everyone works so well together. Mm. I am very grateful and glad to hear that we are working so efficiently. Mm -hmm. And with that, that brings us to our next question. If there's anything you can take from your experience here at Magnolia Clubhouse and bring it back to Friendship Clubhouse and Ashby Oil, what it, would it be for each of you? Well, my biggest thing is professionalism. Mm. Um, Professionalism is my, my main biggest key on you know in, in culinary arts because uh, when I went to culinary arts school, um, that's my my biggest my biggest thing and 
that's something that I was to actually share with the Friendship Clubhouse. Good to hear. Um, I would say making people feel uh, comfortable about their surroundings, uh, welcoming them, and just basically being a friend. Mm. Friendship is definitely an essential quality of everyone. Yes, thank you. I think, yeah, making people feel um, welcome, getting them involved in every aspect. Most definitely. Yes, thank you, Jenny. I think Jenny hit it on the nail. Um, trying to have everybody active in the different parts of the clubhouse is definitely something I want to take back. Hmm, great to hear, Brittany. All right, guys. I guess, if anything, is there anything else anyone would like to add to that? Thank you for having us. It's definitely been a pleasure. Definitely. Likewise. Absolutely. It's Thank been you very for much this of a opportunity as for, well. For it has us been here. a great experience having you guys here, learning from us as well as we learn from you as well. Thank you so much, everyone. All right. I'm Matthew. That was it for our visitors from Friendship Clubhouse at Shabula. And now back to more Maine Magnolia News. What a great interview. Also, Magnolia members, make sure you're signed up for the La Barberia. Hi, I'm Jeff. And this week, the La Barberia is coming to the Magnolia Clubhouse to give out free haircuts this Friday, August 18th from 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. Come get your dome cut. She looked different too. No, she's just speechless. So. I'm bored and I have nothing to do this week. What's this week's social events? Hey friends, come and join me on Monday the 14th for our Monday night social. We're going to make a health and wellness dinner. So come and join us and we're going to cook something yummy for dinner that night that you guys can make at home another time. All right, we'll see you soon. <laughs> Come join me for video game night Wednesday at 4.30. Those sound like great events. I'll be there. You sure she doesn't look different? I think she looks different. No, it's just job job being experienced. Probably, so it's okay. Are we getting more rain this week? Hi everyone, hi Murray, and this is your weather report. This week's forecast shows mostly rain showers. The, uh, the highs will be in the 80s and the lows will be in the 60s. The weather is pretty scatter this week. So we'll try to have a hoodie. That's been this week's forecast and back to more Magnolia news. I swear she looks different. Yeah, she just got a lot in her mind right now. I'm okay with the weather until it snows. I need some inspiration. What's the week's quote? Jonathan Grace, do the best you can until you know better. Then when you know better, do better by my Angelo. Great quote. Thank you. What's this week's standards? Oh, how I love them so. Hi, I'm Deborah, and I'm here with standard number six under membership. Members have a right to immediate re-entry into the clubhouse community after length of absence unless their return poses a threat to the clubhouse community. Discuss this unit meeting. Thanks, that has to be my favorite standard. Are you sure she doesn't look different? Where'd she get all that money? I don't know, but she just got her hair done. It looks nice. So what wonderful food will we be eating next week? I'm Eric and I'll be bringing you this week's menu. Monday, enchiladas with cheese and ground beef. Tuesday, baked potato bar. Wednesday, cheddar broccoli casserole with chicken. Thursday, chili dogs with chips. Friday, steak salad. Another great menu, hospitality. Hospitality, I appreciate you so much. Will this Friday fun day be a challenge? What is our Friday fun day theme? Hey everyone, Maddie Caddy here once again to tell you about the upcoming Friday Fun Day Things Bump Yes. On Friday the 18th, we will be playing Scattergories for realsies. Have you heard the word? 
because each unit will be competing for points by making the most words with in a certain time limit, all beginning with the same given letter. Oh yeah, so as they say, letter rip! All right, everyone, I'm Maddie Caddy. That was it for your Friday Fun Day theme, and now back to more Maine Magnolia News. Scategories is a really fun game. I can't wait. On to our sports, guys. Three, two, one! Hello, everyone. Welcome to Magnolia Clubhouse Sports Report. He's Scott Troll. I'm Pizza Lakewood. We're going to cover the Guardians. Will you think they will be able to make a final run to, to, for the uh, Central Division title? Well, it's hard to say because look at your pitching lineup. No Shane Bieber, no Cal Quantrill, police acts at AAA, and uh, Savali's traded, so you got a lot of, and McKenzie, he's still out with an injury, so you got a lot of uh, pitchers that are not even in the lineup right now. And with the flux of people being brought in from AAA, such as, uh, uh, oh, God, such as, uh, people being, being brought in with AAA. BB, Tanner BB. Oh, Tanner BB, and plus uh, the, uh, plus the other outfielders. And that is the final buzzer for this week for Magnolia Clubhouse Sports Report. I'm KIL, Scott. And as I always say, always remember, be a team player. Each and every day, in every way possible. So long, everybody. Three, two, one. We're done. Where'd that come from? Where did work come from? That's been there. I don't know what you're talking about. Thanks, guys. Hey, Victoria. Tell us about this week's autoimmune disease. Hey, everyone. It's Victoria with the health topic today. Fibromyalgia is a disorder characterized by widespread musculoskeletal pain accompanied by fatigue, sleep, memory, and mood issues. Researchers believe that fibromyalgia amplifies painful sensations by affecting the ways of your brain and spinal cord process painful and non-painful signals. Symptoms. Widespread pain. The pain associated with fibromyalgia often is described as a constant dull ache that has lasted for at least three months. To be considered widespread, the pain must occur on both sides of your body and above and below your waist. Fatigue, cognitive dis difficulties, and symptoms commonly... Thanks, Victoria. Ronahue, introduce us to Carmine. Hello everyone and welcome to another edition of Ron and Hugh. I'm Ron. Today we're here with one of the newest members of the Clubhouse family. Please introduce yourself to the Clubhouse family. Hi fam. My name is Carmine and I am a master's level uh, social worker um, here at the Clubhouse. I think this is like my second week so hello. Okay, hello and welcome to the clubhouse. At the end of the interview, there will be a there, there will be a new set of keys under your seat. You know, we ain't Eleanor Oprah, so it ain't don't don't expect no bins or nothing, but you know, there there will be a pair of keys up under your seat. Now, I, I don't know whose cars they're gonna belong to, but it might be yours if you if you can get them. Okay. You know. Okay. Now, with that being said, so give us a little bit of history about your background. Um, so I worked at I started my career off thinking I was going to be a judge, like Judge Judy, um, Judge Matthews, all of that good stuff. Judge um, yeah, yes, yes, <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. Um, I went to Kent State, I got a bachelor's degree um, in criminal justice, and then I started working, I worked at the U.S. Attorneys and all of those secret uh, alphabet bullies, um, clubs, and once I finished my bachelor's degree, I started to look into some Thank you so much, Carmine. This has been a lovely interview. Can you guys believe she still looks like she's in the 20s? I mean, come on now. Give it up for Carmine. And um, my new coffee mug. <laughs> and her new coffee mug. Can you guys see that? Yes, they can. All right. We'll zoom in. We'll zoom in on it. We'll zoom in. <laughs> yes, we, we, we will get it. So thank you, Carmine, for your lovely time here with us today. 
Uh, be sure to check up under your seat before you leave from the car we talking about. We ain't Ellen or Oprah, but you know, we be trying to do them things. Okay. So, thank you for tuning in to Ronnie Hugh. I've been Ron. This is Carmine. Never stop learning. Have a great day, everybody. Bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Nice to meet you, Carmine. We're happy to have you here. Paul, what is the resource this week? Hi, I'm Paul, and I'm giving you a resource that you should already have. But in case you don't, here you go. 211 is a three-digit phone number utilized across North America for confidential and easy access to help for social service needs. At United Way, 211, they are committed to maximizing the potential of three digits not only for us members but also for service providers and the community as a whole 211 is much more than a just a phone number whether the engagement of which 211 starts with a phone call chat text or in-person assistance the goal is to end with the new discovery of new information the resolution of a problem and lasting improvement to a person's life. Does she look like she's flicking us off? She looks to me like she's about to start picking her nose. Thank you, Paul. 211 is a great resource. We have a poem from Treasure. Hi, my name is Treasure, and I would like to share a little poetry that I created. It's called Listen to Me. My mama gave me up when I was nine years old. She didn't destroy my body, but she killed my soul. Now I'm cold, because I'm sleeping in my field dreams. I understand the spirit's here, but my flesh is weak. Listen to me. Wondering how my life's gonna be. But I'm two years old, still paying the price. I had me, I barely did it. I had to change the dream when I was ten years old. But we got separated, man. But we got separated, thinking how I can make it through. If you're listening, you just don't understand the demons in my mom. But at the same time, I'm trying to make it back. Cut and follow me for seven years of low self-esteem. I traded fear instead of tears into, into joy. So she's talking, so come on. Pain was how I made it through without somebody there to love me what instead of me. So where I'm from, they call you dumb. Treasure, these are the things that people should know about. So come on. She said, get, get your education while you can. It's a simple plan that hunt me even still to this day, thinking I'm on my way to back to country because all I see is failure. However, at the same time, I'm trying to make it happen. I was raised in the church, made some mistakes, still thinking there's there's no way. I heard the Lord's calling on my name. After service, still wondering how I'm going to make it, how I'm going to make it. So Jesus proved I'm on my knees. Can you hear my cry? You said put the battle in your hand. So I'm ready to try. You wasn't mine when you say you heal every broken soul. So I just wanted to say thank you for showing me love. If you're listening, she's a survivor, eagle man survivor, self-love survivor, broken soul survivor. So if you're a survivor, listen, my name is Special Treasure and I'm a survivor. That poetry was very inspiring. Thanks, Treasure. Last but not least is our shout out. Magnolia Clubhouse. Uh, I would like to give a special shout out to, to the communications unit um, when it comes to giving tours. Uh, every time we give a tour, they start what they're doing. They look at the tour guests and they tell them about the unit. So, um, Jonathan, Eric, Y'all do a great job. Keep up the work. Thank y'all for taking y'all time out uh, to show our tours what the Magnolia Clubhouse is about. Y'all got anything to say? We do, we do the weekly news up here um, about communications. We talk about health awareness. We talk about um, social networking and Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and uh, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and that's it. About you, just want everybody to come here and share the Okay. So, yeah, thanks. Thank uh, you, communications. Keep up the good work.
Communications, you're the best. That's all for this week. The communications unit, which produces this news program, thanks all contributors and encourages you to come up and join us if you're interested in participating. Be sure to check out Magnolia Clubhouse's Facebook page, as well as our YouTube channel. If you enjoyed what you've seen this week, then be sure to like this video and consider to subscribing to our YouTube channel. And please share these videos and pages with others. MagnoliaClubhouse.org is our official website, and we maintain a presence on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. I'm Angel. I'm Malik. That's Magnolia. Bye. If you're living with mental illness, join the club.